pets to me are, are angels, are little angels. I grew up with cats and dogs and every time I was sitting down at the piano, they, most of the time they were coming close to me and just lay down and just listen to what I was playing. Marco's music is truly designed with animals in mind. Marco has a connection with animals, a real deep connection. You know, most people are always looking for ways to communicate with their dogs. I don't think they ever thought about music. His music is something different, something that people are not familiar with. I love Marco's music. I have every single CD that he's made. I have the music that's for the humans. I have the music that's for the animals. I never really knew about music just for pets before I came across Marco's music. I think that animals have an, a different sense than we have and that they can respond to music um, probably even better than humans. I'm not sure exactly what the magic is in his music that somehow almost seems created, inspired, or maybe even, you know, channeled for animals. This music has been uh, tested by dog experts and cat experts. I get lots of comments about how the animals respond. It's very nurturing to them. It's very comforting. The music does have a great impact on the way that animals feel, the way that they interact with one another, the way that they interact with humans. Ela is the, the young one. She is the baby, always under your feet, where it doesn't want to miss anything, chasing you to the door, don't leave me, you know, a little bit of the separation anxiety maybe, and, and just all around excitable. And so the music has definitely helped to ease her, calm her. A few years ago, I rescued this dog who had 11 puppies. And she was on her deathbed, and I didn't think any of them would survive. And I had them all in this room together. And she was so jumpy and scared of everything. And I put on Marco CD to relax her. And let me tell you, this dog to this day is the most wonderful, calm, just wonderful gentle giant being and her puppies turned out to be just fabulous rambunctious great little guys and girls it's really a matter of quality of vibrations and also is a matter of how the music is being created i found that when music is a spiritual experience i mean it comes from from a place of love then there is the vibration, the quality of the vibrations are very, very dense and the, and the animal, not only the animal, humans, trees, any, any beings positively react to that kind of vibration. My whole mission from the beginning has always been to rehabilitate dogs that were to be destroyed. The problem with these two dogs were they were aggressive towards other dogs and aggressive to people. This particular dog, Cuervo, was a dog that had bitten five people, and this gentleman here has had numerous fights with other dogs. I think that the music helps to calm the dog because it's just like with people. Music helps to calm people. This music helps to do that in the evening for me. The formula for dogs is exercise, domination, and love and affection. When the love and affection part takes place, that's when I use my music. I feel that Marco's music really captures the spirit of the animals. Uh, the horse music, it captures the gentleness and grace and beauty of the horse, and it also captures the, the energy and the spirit and the, the power of the horse. I think animals do care about music because when I play the music for my animals I see a reaction, I see them relax and they seem to be calm and uh, they respond to it. Animals and people like this music, that's what's great about it. 
our gift is being given to us because somebody needs it. Somebody needs our action through our gift. Imagine a world where everybody would follow their heart. It would be paradise. 